I finally went ahead and ordered my Tesla Model Y. Hello lovely people and welcome to another episode of Praxiprax. In today's video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about something I did recently. Yes, I did order the Tesla Model Y on launch date, that is the 10th of June at around 7.30 p.m. The model I ordered is the standard range. I didn't make any other changes other than just the interior. I have chosen to go with the black and white interiors. My estimated delivery time is between November 2022 and February 2023. I decided to order a little bit later because I currently already have a Mini Countryman and I didn't want to sell it right away and I still have time on my lease. So I'm on my final year of lease so I can wait and I had all the time as well. So I thought I'll wait for a week. But on launch date, I just kept checking the website the delivery date kept moving and by the time around like 7, 7 or 7.30 when I checked it, the delivery date was by between November and February and I thought, you know what, that's enough wait for me and I went ahead and I booked my Model Y. So currently I have a Mini Cooper Countryman. It's a base model with a couple of add-on packages. My current car is on its fourth year. Uh, it's four years old, fifth year running. Um, pretty much at the end of its lease period. Believe me, I love my Countryman. It's a beautiful car. I have always been happier with it. The car always puts a smile on my face. It's a dream to drive. I just love it. So why am I moving towards a Tesla? To begin with, a Tesla is something I've been following since their very first electric roadster. And I've been always fascinated about how technologically advanced that car is. I would find Tesla to be more like an, uh, com an Apple computer, like an iMac or an iPad or an iPhone on wheels. And ever since I migrated to Apple ecosystem from the Android ecosystem, I have been nothing but happier. I also feel that given the gas price increase and the post-lease maintenance cost of my Mini Countryman, which is all going to add up to a hefty expense, I thought, why not? Don't get me wrong, I still love my Mini Countryman, and if I'm ever going to get another gas car, I'm pretty sure it will be a, another Mini. So there's no change in my mind. However, this is like apple and oranges, literally speaking, because they're both cars, but one is a completely different category. The other one is like brand new, it's pretty much like a future option, like a futuristic option. That's how I feel. And I just can't wait to be inside my own Tesla and use it and see how different it is and how much I'm going to love that. If you're interested on how my mini countryman is, I will pop a link somewhere over here so you can check out my initial uh, impressions and review of my mini countryman. So why am I going into electric cars? Of course, like I mentioned, it's mostly because of the fuel cost and I'm a techie gadget lover and uh, uh, Tesla is pretty much like a computer on wheels. So I don't need any more reason to buy a Tesla and also the Tesla prices have come down quite a lot from the Roadster. Of course, Model S and X is still very high. X would be like a dream Tesla for me, maybe in the future. But for now, I would settle with the Model Y and I have been following the Model Y and I've been literally waiting for the Model Y to be released in Australia so that I can, you know, just get it. You may ask me, why Tesla? Why not a Hyundai, a Kia, or even the latest BYD that has been launched in Australia? I believe Tesla is the forerunner of electric vehicles. They're pretty much like, I can very easily compare Tesla to an iPhone. Because no matter what model of iPhone you have, as long as it's not like 20, 30 years old, 20 years old or something, you're going to be running the same software. You're going to be getting pretty much all the same features of pretty much all the same cars, which is pretty much insane if you ask me, which is brilliant. 
and that is what I want. The other brands, yes, they're good. They have been in the motor vehicle industry for a long time, but remember, they're experts in ICE cars, internal combustion engine cars, whereas Tesla is a tech company which specializes in software and technology who have ventured into the motor vehicle industry. An electric car is pretty much like any other electronic devices, like a mobile or a, your computer or your smartwatch. They need regular software updates to bring out the best from them. And what I'm seeing is all the other manufacturers, what they're doing is they're incorporating a default, their own software, or they're just depending solely on smartphone mirroring, like Android uh, Auto or Apple CarPlay. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my Apple CarPlay and I feel that Android Auto is pretty much good as well. However, whatever you're going to be running on your car is going to depend on your mobile, which I'm not very comfortable with. And also, in my experience, my mini software was updated once in the four plus years. And it can it connects wirelessly to my iPhone. Uh, although the screen doesn't come up fully, it's only like almost three fourths of the screen only come show, uh, mirrors from my iPhone, not the entire screen. Whereas when I had an Android phone, um, it just covers the full screen. It could be a it could be just a system default, but my car does not get any other updates. There's no new features coming up. There's nothing new coming out of this car because there's only so much you can do with the car in itself. However, for Tesla, I'm pretty sure you could have you would have seen all these videos about the latest updates. What is the new updates? Now, what is it similar to? It's similar to an iPhone or a Apple Mac computer getting their updates, the latest version with improved features, with improved security, with more user-friendly, um, you know, features. I would like to experience that. And that is exactly why I chose to go with Tesla. Now, why did I go with the Model Y? Why did I have to wait for Model Y? I could have gone with the Model 3, which is a bit cheaper as well. Now, I am 165 centimeters tall. I'm, that is considered pretty short. And I don't like low riding cars. I would like to have a better view of the road ahead of me, which is why I always prefer something like a mini SUV or something that can give me a better command of the road view. Now, Model 3 is still good. However, there's another thing which I did not like about Model 3, it's a sedan. I am not a big fan of sedan. I'm all about practicality. I'm all about go IKEA trips. I want to load stuff. Um, I live in rental property. When I move, I want to load up as much as I want in my car. Now, the Mini has been quite good with it. It's absolutely brilliant with all my IKEA runs. Now, Tesla Model Y has so by far the biggest boot space uh, among the cars, minus Tesla Model X, I would think so. I wouldn't know. But Model Y has the amazing space and I think that is what I want and it rides really high as well now mind you I'm going to do this in a little bit in a different way I know all the other reviewers and youtubers out there they've either already been driving a model 3 or they've gone for a test drive of the model Y or they they've driven they know everything about it as far as I'm concerned in my case I have driven an electric car yes I have driven the Mini Electric. I used the Mini Electric for around two days when I had to give my Mini for a service. I particularly requested for the Electric Mini so that I can see how it drives. And I have to say, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I have driven an electric car, but I have not driven, in, driven a Tesla. I have seen a Tesla 3 from the outside in, in real life when it's parked outside in a parking lot. I have never seen a Model Y till this date in the flesh. So I don't know how big it is exactly, um, but I want it to be a bit of a surprise for me. That's all. Uh, I have a feeling I'm not going to be disappointed. There has been so many comments about Tesla Model Y's ride being stiffer. Come on, I own a mini country, man. It is all about go-kart riding. Not as much as a Cooper, but 
you get the point. It is pretty much it pretty much runs like a, a sports car, heavy steering, and you can feel the weight of the car. I love it. I love the road feedback as well. Now I don't know how different it is going to be with the Tesla in terms of. Uh, how supple or soft or stiff the ride is going to be but that will be a good thing for me to review and upload as a video for all you guys now before i finish up this video there are a couple of things i want to talk about what am i excited about and what am i a little bit scared about getting the model y the first thing i'm more ex most excited for is i don't have to be worried about filling up my car anymore the second thing would be i'm not going to be paying pretty much burning a hole in my pocket for every service for my car every year. The next thing I'm excited for is I would definitely love to travel a little bit more uh, just to, you know, push the Tesla as much as I can and to enjoy the ride. I love driving and I would love to do a little bit of a road trips here and there. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for that. And I'm also excited for how quiet the ride is going to be. Um, I experienced that quietness with the mini electric car when I drove it. So I think it's going to be even better with the Tesla. Anything I'm worried about? Honestly, I'm not worried about much. Like a few months ago, I would have said, well, I'm just worried a little bit about the build quality, the panel gaps, etc., etc., etc. However, based on what all the YouTubers have been uh, reviewing about the Shanghai built Model 3s even and the current Model Ys, the panel gaps aren't a problem anymore. The build quality has increased considerably. So I'm definitely not worried about that. I'm also not worried about the charging because um, I know my uh, local uh, town is going to have an electric charger pretty shortly, pretty close to me as well. And on top of that, the advice I got from everyone is do not install a wall charger until you have actually used the default charger that is supplied with your Tesla and see how you go. Now, I'm not someone who drives hundreds of kilometers every day. I don't. I go here and there during weekends and maybe like on a, a long trip, maybe a couple of times a month or maybe once a month. And that's not going to be that big either. So I think I should be fine with the built-in charger, not built-in charger, the universal mobile charger that comes with the Tesla. Thankfully, since I placed the order at launch time, I believe my model will come packaged with the universal charger uh, because um, the price of Model Y increased after I placed the order and they've taken off the universal mobile charger for, for orders from July, I believe. So I'm safe on those sites at least. So I'm not pretty much worried about those things. Now, there are a couple of particularly two YouTubers I would really like to thank. Um, one is Ryan's Model 3. Ryan, I watch all your videos. Uh, I see how you're growing with your Tesla Model 3 videos. You give a very down-to-earth perspective, uh, which is very easy to grasp for anyone based on your daily use. Love your videos double thumbs up for you. Um, I hope maybe once I get my new Tesla Model Y, you will, I will get to meet you in one of your um, get together um, parties or something like that. Uh, I know you organized something recently, so I'm just um, hopeful, hoping that you will organize something for the Model Y and we can meet during that time. Uh, the next YouTuber I would like to thank is uh, Ludicrous Feed, uh, Tesla Tom, as everyone knows him love 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 tesla tom your video your videos are very technical very specific and very in-depth i love those videos now ryan i know you're a big fan of joa products i have also ordered some joa products pretty much most of the things that you ordered as well so i will also be doing a bit of an unboxing prior to getting my tesla model y and i have a few things i will be ordering i've even got one of those tiny vacuum cleaners, which I started using with my current car, but primarily that is meant for my Tesla as well. So all those videos are going to be coming up real soon. So make sure you hit on that subscribe and click on that bell icon so that you don't miss out on all my videos related to my Tesla Model Y and other gadgets and unboxing as well. I guess that's it for me for today, guys. Um, it's bye from Praxi Prax.